So I get all the time comments like, well, you're always bitching and moaning about the housing situation, the price of real estate, uh, how hard everything is. You're always bitching and moaning about it. So come on, you fat bastard. What are your solutions? What do you think we could do to fix this? All right, let's run a few past you. It's actually not that hard. First of all, real upzoning, like real upzoning, like you can build same thing as they are announcing in British Columbia, same idea as the Toronto uh, Council endorsed. If it's a single family lot, you can build up to five units on it. Like we just got to say that we're going to build on big lots, infill lots in the cities, all the cities, not just Toronto, Mississauga, Ottawa, you name it. We're going to be able to build effortlessly. We're not going to have to go through a million committees and uh, have all kinds of fights and have uh, the citizens up in arms and have the NIMBY sons of bitches uh, causing all kinds of problems and delays and trouble. It's going to be, yep, if you want to build five units on this single family lot, build it, get going, let's do it. So real upzoning where the local people can't fight the fight, cause delays, create havoc, Got that's that's got to be it's got to be real. Just can't be bullshit that somebody says is the policy and then it gets sidetracked. Now, number one, that's number one. Number two, we got to agree that it's a goddamn emergency. Like people have got to come down uh, from the province and the city and say we need affordable housing. We need affordable housing. Shut up with affordable housing. It's declare an emergency. Have a big meeting. Have the big interprovincial federal government, big city mayors, get the big builders in Canada there, get CMHC in there, Canada Guarantee, Sage in, get everybody who has, get the banks in for all I care. They're the ones that are lending on the mortgages. So let's have this kind of a grand meeting and agree it's an emergency. We got to step in like we did in 1946, 47. We got to step in and fix this thing. We got to have a general agreement that it's an emergency, okay? That's important. Next, emphasize purpose-built rentals. Listen to me, I had to even actually explain this the other day, what that is. So for so long, 40, 45 years, maybe 50, all we've really been building is condominiums. We've been building apartment towers that are all individually sold, every unit sold individually, every unit's titled individually, and then they rent it out individually. Because there's, yes, there are people who live in their condos, they, they own or occupy their condos, but in reality, 75% uh, of them are rented out, okay? That's what replaced traditional apartment buildings that we had for decades and hundreds of some odd years where somebody would build a whole apartment. There'd be 50 units, 100 units, 200 units. One company would own the building and rent it out to people. OK, that disappeared. That disappeared 45 years ago. And it's just been condos ever since. We got to bring back that apartment building that's owned by a corporation, owned by a REIT, owned by some kind of organization that is dedicated to just renting them out. And it's a professionally run building not just a whole bunch of different people doing different things at different times. And you can never be rent evicted. You can, nobody can ever say, throw you out and say, well, I'm going to have my mom move in when it's a lie. We have to have that purpose built rental. We're going to build it from the ground up to be a rental apartment building. And how do we encourage that? It's not hard. CMHC has already got great financing uh, options in place. They're really going to make that super cheap and easy to do. We got to incentivize it even more. We got to then we got to say, hey, uh, we're going to send you sell you some provincial city government land or federal government land. We're going to sell it to you really, really super cheap on the promise that for the next 75 years, it's going to be a rental apartment. In that case, we're going to give you the deal of a lifetime corporation to build this thing oh and on top of that we're gonna cut the crazy high and i mean crazy high cost of government bite out of those buildings uh instead of 30 percent of the cost of a unit we're gonna wipe that out gst gone development fees gone all the levies all the taxes just pay the inspector to come out make sure it's a solid building that's it we're gonna blow the government income from those buildings right out the window. Suddenly, we've wiped out half the cost of these things, half the cost. They're now half price what it costs a private enterprise to build a condo. And don't involve gov government can't own it and government can't build it because they do such a shitty job. 
Don't do that. Don't government. We can't have government built housing. You ever seen government build a hospital? It takes six times as long and it costs 10 times as much. Like, honestly, can't let government build anything. They're terrible at it. Incent private enterprise to do the right thing. That's a solution. I'll be back with more solutions.